So I got to thinking today about a woman that I know and how fired up I get and almost pissed and not at her but about how she has so much potential. She has so much opportunity. She has so much talent and kindness and love and joy. Um, and she's smart and she's capable of doing so much in her life. And you know, we've talked about goals and aspirations and dreams, but nothing changes. She just stays in the same, same spot, never takes a risk. Maybe she'll dip her toe in, but it's like, oh, it drives me, it drives me crazy because she's got so much to offer. And I know if she could just step into her greatness, take some risk, play a little bit bigger, that she would have a ripple effect on so many people. It would spread kindness, it would spread joy, it would bring uh, positive things to people's lives. She can change lives, she can change her own life, but it's just like she's comfortable where she's at and it makes, it, it fires me up. It really fires me up. Are you ready? Let's go. I'm an entrepreneur, mom, wife, and friend. We will face fears, take risks, learn to love ourselves, and have fun. I believe in you, and my wish is for you to believe in yourself. We get one life. Let's play big, go places, and chase after our wildest dreams. I'm Liz Medley. Welcome to my world. So I was totally inspired by a group of girls. Ruby was at a sleepover and I was just kind of playing with them and watching them interact and how much courage they have and how they don't have a sense of time at all. And it's like you can ask these little girls, what do you want to be when you grow up? And there was no sense, there was no like hesitation. There was not, they didn't even think about it. Every single one of them right off the top of their heads rattled it off with complete confidence. What do you want to be when you grow up? Mm. Teacher. What do you want to be when you grow up? I want to be a teacher. What do you want to be when you grow up? I want to be a baker. What do you want to be when you grow up? A teacher. Seeing those little girls with all their self-worth, it was absolutely inspiring and it's made me really go back to those young days. Little Blonde Liz in Taylorsville, Indiana. What were my dreams growing up? And some of them made me giggle. Like in kindergarten, I dressed up as a lifeguard and went to school that way. And I remember we paraded around the halls and showed everyone what we wanted to be when we grew up. When I was in high school, I was a lifeguard. You know, and then at one point I wanted to be a dentist. For a long time, I thought I was gonna own a candy store. There was a candy store down the street on the corner from us called Ogilvy's. And I would, you know, scrounge up change and I would walk down there and I knew for sure that I was gonna do that. So go back down memory lane and think of the things that you used to wanna do. Some of them you may still want. Surprisingly, you may still want a lot of those things. So think back to when you were a little girl and the simplicity of things and how there was no comparison. There was nothing that gave you hesitation. If you could dream it, you could do it. And you could do it today. You could do it now. There wasn't other responsibilities saying, oh, maybe my dreams need to go on the back burner. Your dreams were current. They were present. You could see them and you believed them wholeheartedly without a doubt that this was real and this could happen. And then over time, something happens. It happens to all of us as time passes. There's little things, there's words, there's actions, there's people's behaviors and responses to what we have going on that chips away at us. It chips away at our self-worth, at our confidence, at our belief, at our dreams. And I learned from these little girls that it doesn't have to be like that. We don't have to give up on our dreams. We don't have to have hesitation, but we've got to get back to that little girl. We've got to figure out what, what do we truly want? I know this woman who sees the worst in herself and I look at her and I see all the amazing qualities that she has. 
and she's so capable of accomplishing whatever she wants. I know she has big dreams, but she's just complacent. She's hanging out, feeling comfortable, letting her dreams pass her by every day. And I just have got to get this message out because you guys, there's more to life than just being comfortable. You have a purpose. You have an identity. You have self-worth. I believe in you. You have to believe in yourself. You have to stop telling yourself that you're not worthy or, you know, who do I think I am? It's enough. You have to stop. You have to change the lies that you're telling yourself. It's not too late. It's not too late. You're not dead, so you're not done. I'm Liz Medley, and I believe in you.